This video is brought to you by Helix Sleep. Cinderella, Once Upon a Time in the West. Just a title that just rolls off the tongue, doesn't it? And yes, it is a thing. A thing that I'm obligated to watch. And you know why. Because I hate myself. So gracious, unforgettable. Someone sent me this film. They said, Saber, check it out. Look at the poster. Do, 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 do. What do you think? And I'm like, get away from me. And I'm like, okay, no, I actually understand like why you're doing this. You know, whenever it's other channels trying to like cash in on what I'm trying to do with my channel, this is my usual reaction. Stay out of my territory. Uh, joke aside though, I wondered, hey, Maybe this film might be good. It kind of reminds me of another anthropomorphic Western film, which is a very niche genre, but a genre nonetheless, apparently. What's that film? Yeah, you know it. Rango. Rango is so freaking good. Like one of the best films out of nowhere and, and like from Viacom and Nickelodeon, go figure. So maybe, just maybe, a Wild West furry version of Cinderella could be good, right? Y'all better go and get yourselves all gussied up, my darlings. A prince is coming to my town. Oh, f myself, seriously, what the f was I thinking? So apparently it's not as simple as just combining Rango and Cinderella uh, to make a good movie. Who would have thought? This film is excruciating with visuals that are just hard to look at and pacing and a story that are far worse. It is a big nothing burger and my eyes were rolling back into my skull while watching this movie. It isn't even that long, yet it felt like I was there for like four hours. The plot, the characters, and the story are so unbelievably flat. The only thing that's not flat in this movie is Cinderella's butt. Hey, at least the movie's got that going for it. Cinderella. I was like almost falling asleep while watching this movie. So much so that I was like, I wish I had a mattress to fall on before I fall asleep on the ground and break my jaw. And oh, look at that. Uh, he looks sleep. I'm so clever with this sponsor segue. Yeah, it's been like three years now. You're used to this. The 4th of July sale is running now and it's a great time to upgrade your mattress and get 25% off your purchase for a limited time. Check out the Helix site for more details. Right there, right below. Cause guys, I've had my Helix for like a while now. It's, it's, been, a, it's been a hot minute and I love this thing. It's the best sleep I've ever had. And, and for those who don't know, Helix Sleep makes premium mattresses and bedding that are customized to fit your needs and conveniently ship right to your door. Everybody's different and Helix knows that. So they made a sleep quiz that matches your unique body type and sleep references to the perfect mattress for you. Do you like your mattress soft or hard? Do you want it kind of a hybrid? Do you sleep on your side, on your stomach, on your back? Uh, do you sleep with a person? Ooh la la. Have them take the quiz with you. I personally sleep on my side, like the beach whale that I am. And I want my mattress to be like, just firm, you know, not, not, not too firm, not too soft. It's a nice little combination, a fusion, if you will. And based on my results, Helix matched me with their Midnight Luxe mattress in queen size. And I love it, it's perfect. Honest to God, a massive upgrade and I've never looked back. And the best part about all of this is that Helix delivers your mattress right to your door with free shipping in the US. America. The mattress comes rolled up in like this box and it's very like deceiving. You see this box and you're like, there's no way there's a mattress in there. And then you uh, you know, take it to your room. I would say keep the room kind of open because when that mattress, you know, comes out of the plastic, poof, just inflates, poof, well, there it is. It's very convenient. And if it makes you nervous to buy something that you haven't tried yet, don't worry, all right? Helix got your back. They have a hundred night sleep trial. So you get more than three months to make sure that you love your mattress. Plus, on top of that, uh, Helix mattresses have a 10 year warranty and they even offer financing options and flexible payment plans. So a great night of sleep is never far away. So I love my Helix mattress and I think you would too. They've been a long running sponsor of the channel. They help me pay the bills. They're fantastic. And if you're looking for a new bed, check out Helix Sleep. Their 4th of July sale is running now. It is a perfect time to upgrade your sleep with 25% off a Helix mattress, plus two pillows for free. Click the link down below or go to helixsleep.com slash saberspark to find out more about this limited time offer. Go hit them up today. On that note, let's get this mess over with. So what are the origins of Cinderella Once Upon a Time in the West? 
Well, it is a French-Belgian film called, <laughs> my French is not that good, folks, who would have guessed, uh, Sundeleon à Far West. I went to like Google Translate like seven times to do this, and even then my brain was like shutting down, like how do I say this word? Sundeleon à de à Far West. To the French people, I am sorry. No, I'm not. Released in 2012 and directed and written by Pascal Harold, or Adod as it goes, this guy decided to, to launch his own animation company for just such an occasion for making a film like this, uh, along with Nexus Factory, which I looked into like the filmography for like Adod Productions. And you got like this movie that came out in 2009 called like The Real Puss in Boots, the true story. Like it was like looking at DreamWorks saying, oh, yeah, that might be your interpretation. Here's the real story that nobody watched. Uh, speaking of not watching, uh, nobody watched the, the Cinderella adaptation at all. It cost $13 million to make, but only made like half a million back, which is like abysmally bad, terrible. At this point in the video, I usually do like a rundown of the synopsis, overall thoughts, but like, trust me, folks, it is so excruciating, so unbelievably boring to explain that only my reactions can give it any kind of like entertainment value, all right? My suffering in this stream is for you, all right? So uh, without further ado, here you go. Cinderella, Once Upon a Time in the West, and me dying internally. It's my turn. I'm gonna be a princess. Y'all hear me? Um, Maybe we'll make you to a little brother, <laughs> right, Prince? Well, I am certainly honored by your proposal, but I really don't think so. Dead like, hey, man. Okay. <laughs> oh no, is this French? What is this? Some kind of jug? Oh, the voice acting is gonna be weird. <laughs> Long legged boy. Give me the butt shot. Give me the butt shot. Oh yeah, dude. Hey, there's a chocobo. Okay, so we're not in Mrs. Blah Blah's lofty circle or anything, but who cares? Uh -huh, I'm not like other girls. I wear pants. I wear <laughs> jeans. I wear them from the old navy. I'm a girl. A town of ingrates. I've taken everything from them, and now they've got nothing left. I'm acting. <laughs> Here, fetch. <laughs> Welcome, welcome, your highnesses. This kind of gives me food fight vibes. Kind of does. As if I didn't already have Dude, how does she even digest food? She simply does not. Her name is Cinderella. In the West. If you don't mind, I'll take my violin with me. It's fragile. Like my ego. Ew, their legs. It walks like it's so weird. Get out of here, vermin. This is... So I don't know if I'm drunk or if this is just bad. Uh, it's definitely both. This is a bunch of things happening. I know <laughs> I still have much work to do on my management skills. <laughs> Give me that, amigo. <laughs> NFT pirates. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, that animation sucked. <laughs> <laughs> so, so weird. Ah, you ain't pretty. Go on in. <laughs> Jesus Christ. She had lots of What are you doing, little cloud? Just, you know, oh, some magic. You don't mind any magic. She doesn't even notice it. What the hell? Oh, magic spirit turkeys. We're going back in time to stop the first Thanksgiving. Please allow me to introduce myself. I am... Prince Vladimir Pivpov. Talk of the town, it seems. The prince's accent is literally just, give me foreign accent. I don't care where right? it's from. Just give me accent. I thought he was Hispanic when he was first. I thought he was Hispanic. His name was Vladimir or something. It's like, oh, so is he Russian? No one, no one knows. Not even, not even Matt Mercer. Don't look now, but I think we're being followed. They are just jealous. Jealous? This is really cringe. What do you say, you and I lose them? Something I've wanted to do. What, what if you and I go have sex? I was gonna say. Just, uh, <laughs> yeah. Got to my uh, my caravan. Uh, what if uh, we have Carolingus? <laughs> Don't worry. May I be so bold as to tempt fate with you and join your little game? That Why, scream. Is it Ray Romano? The desert is. Wow. 
you have, how do you say, such a way with words. Yeesh. They're both okay. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> okay, sure. Whatever, f everything. I was gonna get laid. A uh, bar fight? Oh, the music's so. W oh, I'm sorry. Did she just get punched in the face? Dude, all the guys are slapping. <laughs> this is really funny. Yeah. So pitiful. Come on, come on. Oh my god, everyone moves so slowly. Right. Oh, so Dude. Oh shit. That was a tooth. Oh, Dude, is it she's be taking like a horse slipper. He's gonna have to fight the tooth. Oh my, oh my god. god. She just got smashed to the glass. Give me back my royals or I'll pulverize you. Whoa! What? what? You. Oh, it's just you. <laughs> I'll see you too. Sorry, I took you, you for someone me? else. I thought you were a 10 out of 10, but you're a 5 out of 10. Go and find her some sarsaparilla! Go to Hades! And back! If necessary! Um, that was some emphasis right there. Could you possibly give me back my violin? No. Okay, I see. That's funny. Funny joke. More gently, then? This is her tooth. She lost it while bravely fighting. Okay. Isn't that romantic? <laughs> I keep her teeth in my pocket. I love pigtails. Hey, this is dialogue. Uh, oh. Away. <laughs> Fuck, dude. This is this is painful. Oh god, the music great. Oh man, the music is awful. Like I keep saying. Oh, did you see that? A little smack the butt. <laughs> he, he clipped through her. He, his hand clips through her hand. Oh, okay, let's see. That? <gasps> or are they holding hands? Oh, oh my gosh, they're in love. I so told cute. you we don't need to have a script. Just make her ass look glorious. Her butt will put butts in the seat. There's no way that this was in theaters. Not true. Not only is there like no chemistry between these characters, they're hardly even characters. Right, they're, they're, they're like one note. <laughs> Get f***ed. Forget it, Prince Blah Blah Whatever. I mean, Prince Blah Blah Whatever is a pretty good word to describe this character. It <laughs> really does define him. Move it, you big ugly beast! <laughs> oh my gosh, what is wrong with everyone in this movie? No, no, everyone no. just enjoys being abused. I <laughs> <laughs> just die. <laughs> 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 Aww. Oh, I was so hopeful. I hate this movie. Oh no, no, it's like also Titanic. At the desert. With furries. <laughs> My uwu will go on. I thought you'd like to have all your teeth to eat our wedding what? cake. Eh. No, don't do it. Yes. Yes. Explode. Blow up and die. Oh yes! Yes, dude. It's a good movie. That was the ending that they truly deserved. <laughs> I hope they're dead. Overall, I walk away from this film saying, wow, Rango was a really good movie. I should watch Rango right now and five more times to get this taste out of my mouth from Cinderella. The story, pretty flat. The pacing, terrible. The characters themselves, I don't like them. None of them are likable, and there's way too many of them. They all strike me as very tropey and lack any real kind of substance to make me care. You should check out my darling daughter, spitting image of the mother, don't you think? Spitting is indeed the right word. The visuals, though detailed and different and undeniably motion captured, doesn't really work for me. Uh, for something like Rango, where the detail of the characters is on purpose to, to kind of highlight that grittiness of the West, of how just kind of like unrefined and kind of, you know, just frankly nasty it is because it's rough and tough and, and it puts wrinkles on your face from the sun beating down on you. That worked for Rango so very much. That visual style, that kind of hyper-realistic style for the animals worked incredibly well. Here, it couldn't really commit. It was like halfway through, where it's like, well, we'll commit to the middle, which is not enough, especially with the overall like tone and narrative of the story. Doesn't fit. So what we're left with here is a movie that could not commit one way or the other and really lacks any kind of presentation, any kind of footprint. It's just a big, old, long, empty movie. And it was boring. Even like the gunfights were boring. Give me that, you uh, idiot. Ugh. Take cover! 
I think the big lesson here is you can try and be like public domain with Cinderella. You can try to be cowboys and in the Wild West. And you can also try to be furry. But hey, there's no guarantee it'll work. And uh, you're better off just go watching Rango instead. <gasps> <gasps>